But what had everybody talking today was the thunder. And maybe you saw some lightning. Maybe you didn't think that could happen in the winter, but uh, we have evidence of that today. And more with the snow coming down a little bit heavier out in Naperville. Here's Mary Kay. Oh, and Steve, the visibility just drops so dramatically when you have these snow bands. Here in Naperville, we have snow covered roads. Plows just came through a few minutes ago, but snow covered cars as well, very quickly getting covered. But maybe you heard it. Maybe you heard the thunder today. In fact, one of our viewers captured it for us, Cyrus in the South Loop. Take a listen to this. Well, here's what happens. There's no bolt usually. The sky just gets bright for a moment. Then there's about two seconds of silence, and then you hear the thunder. That's what we call thunder snow. So here's what happens. Intense bands today were producing those two to three inch per hour totals with visibility near zero. When you have thunder and lightning during a snowstorm, that's thunder snow. It actually, the storm starts out like a springtime thunderstorm. Masses of warm, moist air will rise upward, and this creates unstable air columns. But the tricky part for making thunder snow, snow this time of year is the instability. You need that air layer close to the ground, warmer than the layers above, but still cold enough to create the snow. So some key points to remember, upward motion of the air helps to produce it. There's strong instability along with plenty of moisture, and the thunder you hear is actually muffled because of the falling snow. Now, we also have some snow totals, I should say snow so far numbers to share with you because we're not done yet. In Jasper County, Wheatfield picked up two and a half inches already. Lansing 2.1, Ogden Dunes 3.2, in Oak Forest 3.7, Bourbon A 4.5, and, and Piatone so far is our highest total in Will County. 5.6 inches so far. Well, one way to confirm that this has been an intense winter, Steve, of course, is with the snow depth. The last time we saw the grass was back in January on the 17th when we had that brief warm up for a couple of days. Back to you.